As a 27-year-old triathlete, heart disease was not on Marcus Wright's radar until he was rushed to the hospital with chest pains. He was like, you're having a heart attack. I'm like, what do you mean I'm having a heart attack? I'm 27. He's like, no, you're having a heart attack right now. Marcus was diagnosed with severe early onset coronary artery disease and referred to Dr. Ernest Mazzaferi, an interventional cardiologist at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. His cholesterol numbers are, and his Inflammation numbers looked pretty good and it didn't make sense as to why somebody like that would have such advanced disease. To solve this mystery, Dr. Mazzaferi enlisted the help of genetic scientists at Ohio State, who sequenced Marcus's DNA and discovered new gene mutations that prevent HDL, or good cholesterol, from clearing out the bad. Because of the genetic variant that Marcus had, his HDL was actually very high, as was his brother's. Um, and so typically you would look at that and you would think, oh, you have a lower risk because your HDL is elevated. But in this individual, his elevated HDL wasn't helping him out at all. This discovery helped scientists realize that new medication could boost the function of good cholesterol, helping millions of others who don't respond well to traditional medication like statin. Showing that these variants are causing coronary artery disease actually um, sheds light on a, on a new pathway that we can approach um, and that we can target for cholesterol mediated therapy. Marcus's condition is severe because he inherited the gene mutations from both parents. So as scientists work to find solutions, he is comforted knowing his kids won't face the same struggles. I know my parents didn't want to give it to me and I definitely don't want my kids to have to deal with this because um, they have enough stuff to live for and that this shouldn't be one of those things that they have to worry about. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.